Brilliant, right? So <clears throat> first we know that this is a, is a beam. A beam length is a, is a 10 and uh, the cross-sectional area, uh, the base is 1.0 inch, the height is 0.5 inch. And you should be very, very careful. And in this example, uh, in this homework, uh, we are using English units. And so for inch, so you know, this is length with cross-section, okay, we need to have uh, to build the 3D model. And to in order to build this 3D model, and we need to and draw the cross-section area and then extrude it in the third direction. So uh, here, we go here, parts and 3D, deformable, solid, extrusion, and approximate size because we are only draw the um, in plane uh, dimensions, that means cross-sectional cross -section area. And so we have uh, one point, the base is 1.0, height is 0.5, and uh, this approximate size, we can just write 10, that'll be good enough, and then continue. And then this data, this is the um, interface appears. And uh, because our cross-sectional area is a rectangular shape, and so we just use this the tool, create uh, lines rectangle and so we just uh, draw a rectangle here okay you can see the h h means this is a constraint which is a horizontal line and so you can hear uh they ask you pick a starting point a corner no and we have finished it oh okay just click this one or you just uh, press esc escape now and we have finished uh drawing this one and then and we dimension uh, the two sides. So the base is 1.0. And we just change it. And the height is 0.5. And enter. Now, this is our cross section area. And have finished. And just uh, cancel this procedure. And then and press done. And then this dialog appears. Ask you. Uh, the length for extrusion, and because the length of our beam is 10 inch, and so here we just uh, enter 10. So see, this is a beam is very beautiful, right? Um, uh, so I just said, uh, the abacus does not has have its own units, and you need to be very very careful. And in our case, if you use English units, and you need to and be very careful and uh, length you use inch and force use a pound and also the other parameters that such as this is a um, uh, density and you need to use the uh, slug the mass density slug slash um, cubic inch so i'm going to show you now so we then we de de define the material and because this is model analysis the density matters so we go here first density and the density value uh, equals 1.033 E minus three. So this, uh, the, the unit is a slot uh, per uh, inch cubic. And then the so go to mechanical, the elasticity, elastic, and Young's modulus here equals uh, 38 E, uh, Three E three means ten power three. Um, Poisson's ratio is point three. And then we finish this. Uh, uh, finish defining this uh, material, and then we click OK right now. And then we need to define the sections, and we, because we only have one material, and then um, section we, we just use section one homogeneous. Sorry, the homogeneous continue. And when we select the material, because we only have defined one material, but this is a material one, okay, you, you, we don't have any op other options. So, so make material one and click OK. So after you finish defining this section, and you need to go back to the parts to assign this section and to this part. Otherwise, uh, when you run your simulation, you might run into the problem saying that uh, some material properties are missing. So this is the reason. So click this one, right click it, I'm sorry, uh, double click it, and see here's the 
uh, statement selects the region to be assigned a section, and we select this one. And we don't want to create a set here. Let's toggle this off. Done. And which section you want to assign to this uh, part? And we only have one section, section one. So just click OK. Now, so after we assign section and to this one, and this guy turns to a uh, turn screen, right? And then, uh, this is section now. Uh, then we go to uh, this is a defined steps. Uh, we have two steps and two independent steps. Step one, and double click it. Uh, step one, right? And for step one is a model analysis, and we can uh, define it as model analysis, A N A L O S I S, model analysis after initial and the type. Uh, we should use perturbation, linear perturbation, and use a frequency perturbation, and use frequency, and then click continue, and then use uh, select this uh, like source, like source for this eigen value, number of eigen value requested. Okay, so this is our natural frequency, number of natural frequency, and you are requesting and. Here and we need to specify and uh, this one as six. And then uh, frequency shift uh, minimum frequency. So here minimum frequency of minimum frequency of of this interest here. And so we uh, enter one here. Maximum frequency of interest here, and we might enter one hundred. And then remember to toggle off on this one, include acoustic structural coupling where applicable, or toggle this off. And then we click, okay, make sure this is six here, okay? Otherwise, um, because we want to have six natural frequency, six modes, and so we do the okay here. Now, this is our first uh, step. And second step, double click it, and uh, step two, we call harmonic analysis. Harmonic. Harmonic analysis. Uh, harmonic analysis uh, procedure type is also linear perturbation. Uh, then use the st static, use this steady, I'm sorry, uh, steady state dynamic Direct and then click continue. And so here, and we use linear, we can change linear for linear uh, logarithmic change from logarithmic to linear. And you can change this spike later, okay, if you want. Uh, here we use linear and then edit and this value, lower frequency, and we use uh, one. An upper frequency, and we use 100. And the number of points, and we use 50. And the bias, we select one. And then we click OK. Now we have defined the second uh, the step already. Uh, next step is uh, <clears throat> boundary conditions. And go here, the boundary condition. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So here, the uh, steps, we, then we go with this. Uh, assembly, okay, assembly here. Create an instance. Uh, and you should create an assembly first. Uh, this one, you toggle this uh, independent on, and click OK. And this is our, uh, this is our, uh, the instance. So after we have this instance, and you can uh, get this set. Okay, here, click here. Okay, create partition, and we use select middle point slash datum point, and so select uh, edge to partition, 
the partition edge here, see? Partition T, this one. And then select the point on the edge and create partition. And then you can see, and we have this point, okay? And then we finish this one. And after we get this point, and we can see, uh, set a set, uh, set one, we just set one, continue, continue select geometry. Uh, uh, this is a partition. Sets. Set one, select this point we just created, done. Right? Set one because we are going to request the, the output history. Um, so we need to have a set here. And then uh, we have assembly, sets, uh, the steps, and then we just uh, apply boundary conditions. Uh, boundary condition, boundary condition is that the right hand, right hand side, right, right end is a fixed. The boundary conditions, double click. Uh, boundary, boundary condition one, and we select the displacement and rotation, and then continue, and because we are going to uh, fix this um, right hand side, red side, and so we need to pan it a little bit, and then rotate. Oh, geez. oh no, no, no. Okay, then we can press escape and then select this one and done. And uh, now make sure all these, they are make sure this one is from uh, this one second. So this boundary condition must be uh, must be from uh, this is the uh, initial point, right? Initial point with displacement and rotation, and continue. And see that this uh, right end done, and uh, fix all the all these six degrees of freedom. Okay. Now this boundary condition. Now we first we need to use this manager tool to make sure this boundary condition is from initial uh, step. And then, uh, and, and the load, we end a load. And the load, this load must be from step two, or must have, uh, be from harmonic analysis, not harmonic analysis. And go to load, double click loads. And for this uh, harmonic analysis, Mechanical concentrated force and continue where is on this point. Click this one and done. And so this dialog appears, and so we we'll only have uh, this um, negative 100 in the y direction. And then can, uh, click OK. Now this is a force here. Uh, then we can. Define history output. Uh, define history output here. This is a history output. Make sure this one is for steady state dynamics direct and not whole model. And we just uh, focus on uh, the middle point of the top edge at the left end and the set we just defined. And so here, go here. Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. And U and UT, and we select these two. And then we'll click OK. I will define this one, and we can, uh, we can uh, mesh it, right? Mesh, uh, for here, we mesh it. Mesh. And so we use this one, seed, seed this one, and we use 0 0.25. 0 0.5 is too, and too, too big. And 0.25, remember, this should be a very coarse one. 
And then when you conduct this is a, a convergence test, you need to refine your mesh gradually. And, um, and then we go here, assign mesh control, and we use hex element and sweep and use advanced front and then press OK. Now this guy turns a yellow. For this uh, element type, we use standard for element library. For geometric order, we use quadratic and we use a 3D stress and then we press OK. And now we can uh, mesh this part. Are you ready to mesh the part? Let's just click OK. Now this guy is meshed. It's very, very coarse, right? You can see, and you can see this guy is very coarse. Uh, let me rotate it a little bit. And then what we are, what should we do? And we should do uh, create jobs, right? For create, we have we created two jobs. One is model analysis. One is harmonic analysis. And you must uh, be very careful. These two uh, jobs cannot coexist. And that means step one, step two. We call them step one, step two, uh, because but these two steps cannot coexist. And uh, and for model analysis, natural frequency. Natural frequency, we do not need to have this externally applied load. And so, as I said, these two guys cannot coexist. And so, for this natural frequency analysis, and we need to suppress this one. I use a suppress. It is a suppress, it is a cross sign here. So that means currently, temporarily, and this model does not consider this one. And then go here, we just create a job. Uh, this job is uh, a model analysis. The space is not allowed, so you just use this as a heaven. Uh, continue and go. So this is our model analysis. And uh, then I can run it, see? I run it. Uh, yeah, because I have done something. I'm gonna change the name, change the name a little bit. Edit it. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Rename it, uh, uh, dash one. And then submit and see what will happen. Usually it runs very fast because there's an elasticity, elastic problem. Okay, we finished this one, this uh, model analysis. Now we can visualize it, click results, double click, say, right click this one, click results, and make sure you are selecting, uh, this is the ODB. And you can see the uh, displacement, right? And uh, you can see uh, the animation. Okay, here, and you can go here to step results, step frame, and here will be your uh, natural frequency uh, values, the six, because we are we requested the six values, and here are six values. However, if you request uh, other uh, many um, the more uh, more values, you have uh, more values here. So, and different modes, model one and through model six. Model one, you can see, fly. This is model one, okay. Let's see and show you model three, apply. Okay. Model six, apply. Awesome, right? Model five, apply. Oh, geez. And model two, it's amazing, isn't it? Okay, great. Um, and you can just uh, on print the screen to get these uh, screenshots. Uh, this is uh, for the model analysis. And uh, for now we um, look at this harmonic analysis. As I said, and these two steps cannot coexist. And so now I want to revive this one. How to revive? Just uh, click uh, resume, resume it. And now I need to suppress this uh, Model analysis, right click it and suppress it. Now see this cross sign are in front of model analysis. And then this model, 
uh, I just created another job. And this job I call harmonic analysis. And also dash one because I already created one. And continue. Uh, no, I'm sorry. So the, the space is not allowed. So here. Continue. And done. Uh, let's write. Uh, submit it. And let's wait for a couple of minutes, maybe shorter than a couple of minutes. Let's see very quickly. Eleven fifty nine PM now. Okay, we finished it. Now results. We see. Right, this is a uh, harmonic harmonic one. Oh, 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 oh. Harmonic analysis. Right, so. Uh, we can see the history output and U1, U2, U3 and plot is a plot, displacement, plot is a plot for the frequency. Any questions? So you can see the three displacements. Oh, okay, guys, I hope uh, uh, you have fun with this is a tutorial uh, video. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, email me, okay? Now let me uh, stop sharing.